Hey guys, it's Kyrox. Today we'll be taking a closer look on this new custom map I made. What kind of custom monuments are there, how to complete the puzzles, how is the FPS on the map, where to find the best loot and also showing you some really cool base locations. Before we start, here is a quick intro of the map. So we are on my test server, I have spawned on the beach and you can already feel that you are on a custom map. You will find a lot of hand placed details like those logs and plants on the beach. The placement of the trees are also custom. On normal maps trees are so random, there is so many different of them in the same area. But the advantage of custom maps is that you have so much more control on what the players see. So I made some custom environment and I quite like how it looks like now. It feels more natural, it's clean, it's refreshing and it has some kind of rest legacy vibes to it. For the desert, I made it also a bit special as there is a part of it where it's only dunes with some sandstorm effects. We also have some nice looking mountains which are very good to farm resources like stone, metal and sulfur. And I swear I did not spawn those polar bears. What a surprise to see them go on the train tracks like this. Okay, so let's have a look on the map and where you can spawn. Um, the map size is 3008 kilometers. As you can see, there is some islands, a water flow to encourage boat usage, and the cargo ship will sometimes travel there, opening a lot of opportunities. For the spawns, by default, you will start your journey on the south of the map. There is also a chance to spawn in the north, like here, here, and here. This is the oil rig locations. And you have water labs, one here, and one in the other opposite side here. Let's check the first custom monument that most people will find when they spawn in the south. The Airburst crash site, which is located in L19. It's a tier 1 monument, and the plane is crashed just in front of a waterfall. Ok, let me show you what we got there. We got few crates, one diesel barrel. Let's check inside the plane. Here we got a military crate and one tool. Over here upstairs we got the recycler. Here on your left you got a green card spawner. Look at that, that looks insane, holy shit. Anyway, here you got the green puzzle. Let's take a look. Let's put a fuse in there. There we go, here you got two desert bar, few more crates and one blue card spawner. And that's it for these monuments. For the next custom monument, we got a big one. The Cathedral, also tier 1, but this one is a bit special as it's underground. The Catacombs is tier 2. Upstairs in the towers, you'll find the Recycler, and you can quickly exit the monument using the zipline. 
I'm not going to show ways each crate in each monument, so I let the player find out themselves. There is two entrances to the catacombs, one from the inside of the building and one from the outside. It's quite dark there, but not too dark. Still bring your flashlight, it may help you later. You can loot inside the coffins, these are normal crates and a few are military. As you go deeper in the catacombs, the radiations will get higher, and you will need hazmat suit to keep going. After going down all the stairs, you can encounter a few zombies. So I know zombies are not a part of daily Vanyara's gameplay, but with the proper environment for them, I think it's cool to have. Anyway, eventually you'll get to this room. There is a green card spawning here, and there is an entrance to the lower level. Now, this is where things get more spicy. Once you get down there, there is no go back, and you must find another way out. The zombies can surprise you there, as they can break the wood barricades and come from unexpected place. The zombies are not that hard to deal with, you could do that with a bow or a melee weapon, but while you're fighting one, if you don't pay attention, you can take the aggro of other zombies and it become harder to handle multiple of them at the same time. After looting the hidden crates, if you found them, you can go out using one of the two exits available. Next monument we got the hospital, which is connected to the ocean. This one is a tier 2 and there is two recyclers, one outside nearby the car lift and one inside the main building. In there it's quite spooky, as you will find some dead bodies and the nature trying to make its way back. There is two puzzles, one is green and one is blue. To complete the puzzle you need to head to the garage, find the fuse box, exit and quickly enter the building and start to go upstairs. In the staircase there will be an entrance to the maintenance room where you can toggle a switch. This will turn some lights on and activate both green and blue card readers. Most of the loot you'll find there are medical crates, but also some military, an elite crate and a red K card. But there is a few zombies defending this area and some of them might be more dangerous. Outside the building to the sea side you can find a boat vendor and this is the only vendor that is not in a safe zone. Speaking of safe zone, we got no compound on this map, but a custom safe zone named the Refuge. Here you can purchase helicopters, horse, use the marketplace, and in the tunnel you can find all the vending machines and the gambling stuff. Moving to another tier 2 monument, which is a custom power plant, and you can come here by using the train tracks. Here we got a blue puzzle, and to complete it you'll need to destroy barricades to find the fuse box. After that you need to toggle a switch to activate the card reader of the storage room, however the switch is defended by scientists and one of them uses a rocket launcher. In the storage room you will find few diesel barrels, some crates including a elite one and a red K-card. For the next custom monument we have the airport, a tier 3 heavily defended by not one but two Bradley tanks, sniper scientists, some sites and a bunch of other scientists. There is three puzzles in the airport, the Spain plane is green and the air force is blue and red. Not too complicated to find the fuse box here. Behind this red door you will find few elite crates and tech parts, but not too many as the tanks already are insane source of loot. Also worth to mention that this map does not have the desert military base, but the LMRS vehicle is right there instead. This is the recycler location, and you can also find some snowmobile here. Last but not least, we have the laboratory, also tier 3, few scientists in there, we got two puzzles, one green and one red. The recycler is right there. To activate the card readers, find the fuse box in the garage first. Then you have to go upstairs and toggle the switch in this room. 
Past the red door, you'll find a scientist standing next to a computer station and an elevator which you can use to reach the elite crates. Only two scientists there, but so the elite and use M2, and they will target you as soon as the elevator door open. So you have very little time to react and kill them, and this is what makes it difficult. You'll notice a few dead zombies on the ground, and the area looks very damaged. It seems something wrong happened there. As you can see, there is a big closet gate with two card readers, but they are not usable. Because there is a continuation of this monument coming soon, Something really crazy. Remember on the Earth Apocalypse you have Installation 7 and Infected Bunker? Those two monuments that player had such a hard time to complete but loved them for the challenge. Well, this one will be similar, but even better. Okay, then we have the mines where you can farm some ores on the ground. There is also a green puzzle in one of them. And we also got a bunch of custom caves all over the map where you can build. Some of them are not too deep, so if you decide to build there, the time to go to the surface is not too annoying. This is the location of all the cave. Most of them are custom, so there is a lot of exploration awaiting you here. There is also some really nice spot to build on this map, like these brain areas, those rock formations. We also have this water bay area, where it's not too deep, so you can build a kind of water base with boats, and you have a direct access to the hospital. There is also some pump jacks, where you can build and get some profit from those locations. Overall, the map has very big potential for building. Ok, I think I covered the most important stuff. Now let's have a look on the map performance. The map total prefabs is currently 41,005, which is quite lightweight considering the amount of custom stuff on the map. So it's quite good for loading speed for the server and the people trying to connect. To start off, let's compare the power plant from Face Punch with the new custom power plant. I am testing these at ultra settings, everything maxed out at 1440p resolution. Most people won't even play the game at those settings for competitive reasons, but just to give you an idea and some margin on how the map can handle FPS, and my computer is not really the best, it's getting a bit old now. Now, this is a custom power plant, with the same exact settings and server conditions. So, the FPS is actually really close on both procedural and custom. The custom one also have a bunch of scientists going on, and we're still getting pretty much the same FPS, and sometimes even better. Now let's compare both at the same time. 
This is actually crazy, the custom one is bigger than the normal power plant and still the FPS is better over here. Maybe the normal one uses more FPS angry objects, I guess that's possible. Let's have a look on the safe zone now. The outpost is known for being very angry on performance. Here I'm comparing both outposts and the custom one. Pretty similar from the outside, but when you're inside the tunnel in the custom one, it starts to drop a bit more. And this is something I need to look at, because I want my safe zone to give more FPS than the outpost. There's probably a bit too much light going on, I'm at full setting, so with the shadows and everything, yeah, around 60-70 FPS, which is not the end of the world for a safe zone, but I still need to make some optimizations here. We are now comparing run site with the airport. Depending on where you look at, you get more FPS than the other and sometimes less. In the airport we have a bit more going on there. Two tanks, dentists, some sites, the light inside the planes. But it still performs pretty good I would say. Remember, this is ultra settings, our max, and if you start to put normal settings for PvP, FPS will surely go skyrocket. So I'm quite happy with what we are having there. Overall, the map is doing good on performance side. I mean, even at the IS settings, you still get decent FPS, which is incredible for what you get to see on this map. But sometimes procedural get a little bit more from place to place. The map released not too long ago and there is still some optimizations to be done. But even now, the map should be able to handle large amount of player at the time I'm speaking. We are reaching the end of this video, and sorry if my English is not great, I'm French, and this is actually the first time I talk. Your English sucks. I hope you guys enjoy this new custom map, as I'm putting a lot of time into map making for the community. It's the only thing I can do anyway, because I live on a custom map myself, and I got 200 press ping on all our servers. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description for those who want to get the map for their servers. For the people who want to play this map, simply search for the map name in game, but be aware that not all the servers will show the map name in the server list. Maybe soon I will open my own servers dedicated to my maps, but this will take some time to set up. Feel free to leave a comment, and if you like what I do, please like and subscribe so more people will see my maps and play on them so you have more people to read. You can also join my Discord as I'm very active there. I also want to thank everyone who support me, and that means a lot to me, and I will not be able to keep going without you guys. And also thanks to all the people having fun on my maps. I sometimes join the servers running them, and I see players giving me props for creating those. So yeah, love you all. Um, Alright, it was Krox, and I leave you to those last footage. Thanks for watching, and see you for the next one.
Thank mm-hmm. you.